Disneyland. A place of hopes and dreams, facts and fancy, all in one. Now we want you to share with us our latest and greatest dream. One of our biggest dreams was to bring Disneyland, that great, iconic, wonderful place created by Walt Disney in the 50s, to China, the most populous country in the world. The best place to do that was Shanghai, its largest and most vibrant city. Early on, there was an idea about making sure that this was uniquely for this market. And it was at the groundbreaking in early 2011, Bob Iger coined the authentically Disney and distinctly Chinese notion. We have been invited to come here and build this great place. And one way to show great respect for our hosts was to infuse this park with elements of their culture and of their country. And so that gave birth to the mandate, authentically Disney, distinctly Chinese. From the design process, there was always that sensibility about China and everything we do. Every time we had an initial creative meeting, we always opted on the side of invention. The bigger, the better, the more unique. The wider, the higher, the more dynamic, the unusual, the never been done before, but yet it's a magic kingdom. We had our various attractions that we felt needed to be there, but think of it as different. Think of it out of the box. I think the big challenge of Disney going to any foreign environment is we can't do it all ourselves. We have artisans from all over Asia, from all over Europe, some extraordinary experts that have come locally. The way that we create immersive environments that take you to Fantasyland or to Treasure Cove in the Pirates era, that's a completely new topic here in China. Authentically Disney, distinctly Chinese. I feel that all the time, and the way we design all of our Magic Kingdoms is a very clever system. find out you work on Shanghai Disneyland. Invariably, the question is, can't you get it finished sooner? This is going to be the most special castle we'd ever built. So, wow, what an opportunity. This castle is the largest castle we've ever built. You can see it's quite big and impressive. <laughs> it was a blend of Chinese stylings and Disney storytelling. The main tower has a peony flower on top, a symbol of Shanghai, and a burst of Disney stars. So the whole finial itself symbolizes the partnership between Disney and Shanghai. I think we're innovating a lot in this park. I'm really excited about Pirates of the Caribbean because this market knows the movies, so we realized to do a new Pirates that put you in the action, we need to control the boats. It involved a lot of new technology that had never been done before, and we're doing it. There's always an understanding that entertainment was going to play a very important role in delivering on that promise of authentically Disney, distinctly Chinese. 
We made the choice early on that each of our creative teams was going to consist of veteran artists from the People's Republic of China. We have four gigantic stage shows in the park. We have a parade, giant nighttime spectacular, the biggest entertainment program that we've ever opened a park with. As I sit here at Shanghai Disneyland, I think even Walt would be impressed, maybe even a little bit surprised at seeing what his great dream has become in 2016 in Shanghai. I mean, how can you not be proud? And it's phenomenal to think that five years ago it was dirt and it wasn't done by a bunch of elves overnight. <laughs> What motivates you is getting there and seeing the guests come in and you see the kids running around and you go, wow, that was a lot of hard work, but our product is memories and happiness that drives you. We've built something here that is truly a wonder of the world. Something will create memories that people will share throughout their lifetimes.